Nori, thank you so much for 25 months. You may have a Therian... Oh god. You may have a Therian in this game. You believe it to be very good. You also have a Theria in me. You think that I'm a great person and runner. Oh, that's very kind of you. Thank you for the good luck. You fucking rock, Nori. You're great. Whew, good, good start there. Wait, no, the other thing. Terrible. <laughs> Just awful. <sighs> well. Small mistakes like that feel really bad, but like they only cost me a couple seconds. That's really early. Like that's... I'm scared of getting a four encounter early. It's only a three encounter. Nori, thank you. Yeah, we're getting real close, so hopefully. Hopefully it gets there. Don't do that, that's rude. I should be able to do this with defense strats.
And then I can grind Ulbrich sub 1 for the next two months. Yes, exactly. But the payoff there is big. Once I'm done grinding Ulbrich sub 1, then it's time for Galdera runs. Yo, Vi, thank you very much. Yet another person that everyone here should be following. Alright, can we quick? Come on. Thank you. Followers are scary. I've watched your stream. You're scary smart. So, I think you can handle it. Anyone capable of writing a brainfuck interpreter on the 5A22 definitely deserves some notoriety. Wait, what did I say? I said 5A22 just now. Why am I blanking on the NES's chip? 8602, right? Maybe? 6502, Jesus. Well, that's embarrassing. This is definitely going to be a PB now because... that is really embarrassing. It seems fitting for me. Start a PB VOD by being a complete fucking idiot and forgetting what CPU the, uh, NES uses and thinking that it uses a Rico chip. Actually, I don't know if the NES uh, 6502 was... It might have been manufactured by Rico. Mamgar! How's it going? Mamgar's PB is the VOD that I was studying when I was doing 4-character route. You saw Rico a lot in uh, the Nest Dev wiki, so it was probably Rico. There in and back again. Oh, I hate it. It's really good.
Yeah, the timer is absolutely spelling it wrong. And you're the first person who's noticed. Congratulations, you win the prize. These are their on runs. No, if I PB this run, it's two back-to-back -back PBs, so... Pretty sure that's... That's the maximum the speedrun gods will allow. No, just do that. How are the Therian runs? They're all. That's right. wanted to start a company that is at least slightly useful where backup solution is TI-83 calculators. You don't know, you want to see if you could still be profitable within those limitations. Highly unlikely. It's worth keeping in mind that Texas Instruments' primary business is not their calculators. Most of Texas Instruments' money, as I understand it, comes from uh, semiconductor manufacturer. So I wouldn't I wouldn't be ready to bank on calculators being alone a profitable endeavor. dollar data backup solutions that barely hold anything and yet still play doom fair all right well i'm gonna bank on this we need bugs really need bugs here that's not bugs Alright. Bummer. I never used a Casio. Um, I had a TI-83. And I have had a... Um, Alright, I really want triple ants here. That's not what I needed. I've also used an HP. That's unfortunate.
Yeah, the TI-83 Plus, which is technically what I had. I had the Silver Edition. This stinks. Plenty of time to make up, but... Really need ants here. It's the worst. Don't care what I get now, but I need one more. This stinks. Alright, frogs is probably fine. Like, this is the least bad. Learn, you lizard, thank you. Awful. Oh, it's all about test mode. Interesting. I'll be back. Yeesh. That wasn't... That wasn't her. That wasn't the woman. That's not good. I might be restarting this run. That was the woman. Where did the... It was up there. That's fine. Probably fine. It's probably fine. For some reason, I thought that the Curious Antique was the, the less likely steal.
Alright, time to focus now. <laughs> and actually play the video game. Yeah, the advent of test mode in calculators is really interesting to me. I was in school at just the perfect time where, certainly probably due to the fact that I was taking advanced placement courses, um, my teachers were perfectly willing to allow me to as long as I wrote my own code, like they would provide me a blank calculator and I would write code to run on the calculator to get the answers that I needed. Um, they were perfectly happy to let me do that. But yeah, that was, that was the way that uh, I was able to make use of the calculators as somebody who actually knew how to use them. This discussion is now less Octopath Traveler, now more Octal Mode Calculator. Yeah, that's not wrong. Welcome to twitch.tv slash TinaHacks. We can't stay on one topic, but we're probably going to be talking about something extremely fucking nerdy. Any programming nerds in chat? We've hit a critical mass. Yeah, that'll happen. <sighs> the fact that earlier I pulled my chat on whether or not they wanted to watch me do some of the retired hackthebox.eu boxes. And the overwhelming response was, yeah, it sounds fun. Uh, tells you all you need to know about the demographics of my chat. I believe that there's a randomizer for Octopath Traveler, so I would be pretty surprised if there wasn't a modding community. You'd be double working if you watched that stream? That's not true. Your blue team. You don't give a shit about people actually breaking into shit. Well, I mean, you do, but strictly speaking, only after it happens. 
The only way that IR occurs is if there's an I to which you can R. That's... that's just... that's just science. I've been playing around with generative music for uh, non-video game streams. Because music licensing is hell, and there's several artists that I would really love to be able to just show off. Um, but that's a, that's a tall ask. You bet somewhere someone has decided to take the Link's Awakening remake engine and convert the Oracle games to it. That one would be tough because Switch Homebrew is still very, very, um, it's rough around the edges. to skip the primrose split. Hey, don't worry, Primrose is fine. She's on a farm upstate, chasing rabbits. She's happier now. The more effect on sand and snow really, really distracts me. For all the really fantastic design decisions that they made in this game, I haven't seen more since I stopped using a CRT <laughs> for my primary display on a computer. Um, I don't know of... Oh. oh. That's unfortunate. That's Octopath. I apologize. I think that the more effect is wonderful. And, um... Honestly, it was a stroke of genius to use it. Uh, 
It does an excellent job of distracting players who uh, recognize design implications. No, it looks like shit. It looks bad. I guess I shouldn't. I shouldn't get aggro yet. There's a lot more ways that this game can ruin my day. Nope. You kind of like it. Fair enough. Yeah, that more is almost certainly caused by uh, the way that they do the scaling effect on the texture of the sand. And it's just that the sand itself has a... and the snow. Both of those are essentially the same texture with you know, different colors overlaid. Like here, the moir is just super obvious. And it highlights the period periodicity of the um, of the the texture in a way that I find distracting Hexness, thank you for hanging out. I hope it was fun. I hope that whatever it is you're dropping for goes well for you. It's really early. Okay. Alright, I have to hope that one of these is... Alright, we get to play. Cool. I don't like that we don't get the bonus here, but whatever. Thunder, wind, wind. Yeah, Metanoch, I am far from an expert when it comes to visual processing. So, yeah, if, if somebody told me avoiding more is actually a surprisingly difficult problem, uh, I would I would defer to the person with with more uh, experience in that realm. Well, that's the worst thing that could have happened, so that's good.
can't believe that I've... What a bad run. Anyway. Baizu, I appreciate the puns. you ever did in that domain was a small raycasting code project projecting on projecting on a single texture mode 7 style interesting but you did run into the more problem as it stretches into the horizon yeah uh well more was uh decidedly uh, common among um, I don't think that I no I don't care about that yet Yeah, you see that a lot in SNES games, so that makes sense. Okay. Alright, well this was really rough, but still doing okay.
Gonna be honest, um, this is making me really nervous for the 3% steal. Yeah, as somebody who doesn't do graphics at all, my best guess for what a... what a good means of... of applying the sort of noise that you want for something like snow or sand without causing a pretty nasty more effect. Like maybe maybe as a post-processing effect applying white noise maybe through like a Monte Carlo or something like that. I don't know if you can apply it to an individual texture that is then applied to the surface because I don't know 3D programming, but if that's possible, that feels maybe like the way to do it. Rising inflection. Thanks, Tressa. I appreciate the freebie. Sir, welcome in. almost bad. Can't stay wanted to say good luck. Thank you very much for the good luck. Much appreciated. Okay. Well, it's all coming down to this. Please, please. Thank you.
The naive approach to projecting onto an endlessly repeating texture without more would be to project rather than the center uh, your screen pixel, which would... Don't worry, I can continue reading. Uh, center your screen pixel, its entire area, which would be a trapezoid, makes sense. Which would likely be, or would likely be a trapezoid. Uh, and average the contents of that area of the texture. Okay. And that would quickly get very expensive. Yes, I can definitely see why that would. Okay. Go. do need cover. No, I really wanted to... There we go. Metanoch, thank you for that extremely clear and thorough explanation. It's um, far from my wheelhouse, but really, really appreciated. All right, help me keep track, friends. That was five so far.
Come on. PB is going to be very tough now. Your clothes, give them to me. I'm quite certain that this was 100% meant to be a, um, a shout-out to Final Fantasy VI. Like, it's gotta be, right? 44. 44 failures. What a good game. I keep on doing that. I keep on wanting to go straight down. It's because of that stairway. Is it this way? It's not. It's this way. God, if I get a fight here, PB Chance is dead. How many stones do I have? I have two. If this is good enough, it's not. That's good. Okay. That's faster than dying, so whatever. This dungeon, for whatever reason, is just... Really easy to get lost in. All right, you're good. Let's go. All right, well, attempt one is dead. I think I can PB if I get it next next time, maybe? We'll see. Three minutes. I don't think that I can do this in three minutes. This is a hard fight. Alright, well, let's go. We have a guaranteed attempt. Okay. 
Alright, here's the first spot where the run can just die. Okay. Now it's... Uh... Cool. Jam, you. We get to win the fight, but I don't think it's good enough. We'll see. cutscene skips, this is just barely sub one. That was a late split. I'll look at, <laughs> I'll do a frame count. I'm pretty sure that was a 159 or a 059.59. Yo, thanks for the GGs. Yeah, I, I steal all of your money and then I spend it to hurt you. Yeah, this this feels like it counts as a as a sub one. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that was a late split. That's true. You all wish me luck. And um, I'm relatively certain that wishing me luck helped a lot when it came to helping me to save those last few seconds that I needed to save. That's true, you also stated that bad luck would be getting a PB that's still over one hour, and you wished me good luck. So, yeah, it's it's impossible that that's, that that's actually a one hour plus uh, split. That's a good point. Yeah, it's it's literally a I need to go back and look at the um, at the VOD to tell whether or not it's a fifty nine fifty nine or a one minute or one minute one hour even. But um, I think Mamgar is still here. Mamgar can answer this for sure. But I think that the first frame of fade out is the um, is the official like that's where the run ends. So that's what I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna look for. If the photo finish gives you the sub hour. It's definitely don't PB by too much territory. Yeah, for sure. The screen starts darkening. The first frame of fade out is 5959.56. Well, somebody who actually like knows the the technical rules of this category can say whether or not that's the official like 
it's either going to be the first frame of fade out or the first frame of credits. If it's the first frame of credits, then I'm off by like two or three seconds. When you landed on my stream, you were coming from a Link to the Past rando race that was within 0.34 seconds. <clears throat> Metanoc. Um, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real honest here. I'm noticing a trend between these two streams then. And you're the trend. You're the thing that's causing these photo finishes. Time starts on confirming. Makes sense and ends when the final skip cutscene bar fills before the credits roll. Okay, cool. Then yeah, this is sub one, so now I have to learn Ulbrich. Fuck. Cool, that's gonna be fun. Goody. My sum of best is so much better than this time, jeez. Like, just comparing against my golds, evasive maneuvers, I lost one minute and 40 seconds. Tressa, I lost three minutes. I mean, I'm rounding here, but... Uh, Orlik, I lost three minutes and 50 seconds. Gareth was almost a gold, to be fair. Almost a gold there. And then Darius, I lost two minutes, 20 seconds against my golds, so could be much better. <laughs> Commiserations on Ulbrich. Thank you for that. This is good. Two, B two PBs in one day is nice. Two back-to-back -back PBs is always fun. Um, now I have more videos that I can slowly roll out on YouTube so that I can keep the algorithm happy. It's wild. The the playing the algorithm game on YouTube is is real real fun. Watching like traffic to my channel when I've been releasing two or three videos a week versus if I have a quiet week. Um, big difference turns out. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do the the clickbaity thing. Um, I have enjoyed Author Blues's clickbaity uh, YouTube stuff. It's been real funny. Um, another thing that actually helps is just having title pages for your videos. Um, none of my recent speedruns have had title pages, and the traffic to those versus like much worse quality, both video quality and gameplay quality. Uh, the traffic to those versus worse videos of mine is noticeable, which is really funny. Offer blood sacrifices to the algorithm. Oh, that's smart. I should do that. Need to figure out where to get some blood. And then an altar. In the shape of the YouTube logo. And then I can, I can, yeah, have blood sacrifices. I hate the fact that you responded immediately with, that sounds like a fun project. That's not, that's not okay. All right, if you're gonna build a YouTube altar, follow me on this one. Uh, you actually want 
only to have the the white parts of the logo be positive space. Have the red uh, parts of the logo be negative space because then when you make your blood sacrifice, the blood is what makes the red part of the... Yeah, exactly. It's blood. It's all blood. That's a real good note to end this speedrun on. So, that's good.